Hi. In this video, I would like to show you the results of the Drupal 8 media sprint that happened in Berlin in December 2016. We were sprinting for a week and we had between 8 and 13 sprinters uh, attending it. Our main focus were media improvements for Drupal 8 core. Um, and as part of that, we worked on many issues, many patches. Um, unfortunately, none of them are committed yet. And for that reason, we created a sandbox project, which is basically a Drupal 8.3 core with all the relevant patches applied. This uh, makes it easier for more people to check it out and to test and to validate what we are up to. Um, oh, I will post the link to the sandbox into the uh, video description, so it will be easier to find. Um, as part of our work, we focused on a few different areas. First area is um, improving how media is represented in Drupal. Um, as part of that, we decided to adopt a contrib module called Media Entity, which creates a new entity, entity type um, that handles storage for local and remote uh, media items. With local, we understand something that is on the server, and with remote, we understand something that lives on a third-party ser servers, like YouTube. Um, and if you install the sandbox that I mentioned earlier, um, we will create uh, three different types of media by default. The first two are files and images, which are trying to replicate what core currently uh, supports out of the box. And additional to that, we also added a YouTube media type which is very nice. Media Entity is also responsible for handling metadata. So if, uh, let's say, a YouTube video will come with some more information that we would like to use um, on our Drupal site, uh, it will also take care of that. Second part is uh, Media Library. Um, which is basically a view um, of media entity items um, represented with thumbnails, um, some filters, and also support for actions. So if I would select a few of those images, I would be able to apply any of those actions to them. Um, we can also see that we have uh, some kind of primary filter up here where we can easily um, filter based on types that I explained earlier. Um, and using that, I can see that I have one PDF document in the system and a few images and also a YouTube video, um, which is obviously represented with a thumbnail in the library. But if I visit the standalone page for the same entity, I will see that uh, I have an embedded version of it being displayed here. Um, we can check the edit form for this entity and we will see that the only thing that is being stored is URL of the video. Everything else, uh, including the name of the entity and the thumbnail that we've seen earlier in the library was fetched from YouTube and saved automatically. Um, and this is the part that I mentioned earlier about media entities solving metadata and having API to, to work with this kind of information behind the scenes. 
Um, we can also check how a file is represented. Um, it uses like a standard file field. And in this case, we have a name field also exposed because we want it to be able to enter it manually instead of media entity pre-filling it for us. And similar with an image, it uses image field and again, a manually entered name. Um, one thing that it's worth mentioning is the fact that the current approach that we're using for YouTube videos is to use OEmbed standard, uh, which makes it very easily extendable to other remote types, such as Vimeo or like anything else that supports OEmbed, basically. Um, so this was library part. We're very excited about it. Um, we would love to hear what you think about the user experience and, and, and features that this library has. It's still in heavy development and it's very early, but um, yeah, it would be great to have some feedback. And then the third part that we've been focusing on is editorial workflow related to media. Um, We've shown that now we can work with media like, as a standalone uh, entity in Drupal, but what is really needed is to be able to work with media when working with other content. And to solve these problems, we worked on a few field widgets that um, for example, allow us to use the same media library as we've seen earlier to reuse images in this case um, on a piece of content. Uh, uh, we have nice uh, representation that is standardized across all the parts. Um, we can reorder this and we can also remove items that we don't like. Um, and we can also create new media entities by just uploading something um, to a field. Uh, and since files are not just files anymore, they can have fields that could be um, required. Uh, we open an edit form for that where we are able to enter uh, additional information and then this file is re created as a media entity and attached to this piece of content. When I save this node I can see that images and this file are represented in a pretty standard way that we are used to in Drupal. Um, and yeah, that's more or less it. The long-term idea that, that we have is to probably combine this first image the first uh, widget that works with with the, the library and the second widget that is used to upload things uh, into one and then have an option to decide where they want to select something from library or upload something um, and definitely uh, link to a remote media item such as YouTube we currently don't have anything for YouTube <coughs> in this note context, but it's definitely planned to add that. Um, so yeah, this is what we've been working on. We're very excited about it because um, we think it's a big improvement to what we currently have. Uh, as mentioned already, 
this work is not done yet. Uh, we still need to spend probably a few months of development on that. Our desire is to have a few more sprints uh, to focus on this in 2017. Um, we'll see how that goes. It's also worth mentioning that for now there is no funding secured for those sprints and for future work on these topics um, which is something which which we'll have to solve for sure in order to successfully finish our goals thank you very much um, let me know what you think about this and hopefully we will be able to ship even more exciting things in the very near future thank you